Can anyone guess what car this is before I pan out? You guessed it! The Losi Mini T 2.0 Brushless from Horizon Hobby. RTR, ready to run. I like that because if it wasn't ready to run, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Um, so today we're going to open this up and see what it's all about. Maybe take it on a little tiny test run in the back. Um, it's been a little wet out there and the grass is a little long, so we'll see how it does. Um, I went out, shout out to El Cajon Hobby. I'll put their link in the description and somewhere here. Um, but they're really nice down there. El Cajon Hobby based out of uh, San Diego, County of San Diego. They do racing on Tuesday nights, so I'm told. And um, they're racing these guys. So I picked up the right one. From what I was told, maybe I, I should change out the tires. Um, it is a carpet track. Uh, hopefully we can get some footage of that. I don't plan on going down there for the first time and just racing. Um, this is my first time. I've never done it. So I think I'll maybe practice a little bit first. But I will like to go down there and check them out. So hopefully a video on that coming up soon. But shout out to El Cajon Hobby. Um, the guys down there are really cool. Um, it's hit or miss when you go to those hobby shops because you got the enthusiasts, you got the experts, you got the people that know a lot. And a lot of times they don't want to uh, take the time and help the beginners, you know, get into it. Or they seem uh, annoyed or frustrated or you know how it is when you go to those shops. It can be a little intim intimidating. But the guys down there are really cool, uh, really helpful. And um, they told me this is a good choice. So again, the Losi Mini T 2.0. This is the brushless version. And let's unbox it and see what we got. All right, so first of all... Uh, First of all, it comes in two different colors. They got the red and the blue. I opted for the red. Um, I don't know. I like the I like the yellow, the yellow rims in here. Kind of stands out. Um, I'm planning on get a clear body and maybe do my own paint job on it. Um, but like I said, this is the brushless motor. Um, they do have the the Mini T, which has the brushed motor, fully assembled ready to run um, shows on there full ball bearings um, I believe this has the oiled shocks I'll go ahead and cut this open and see what's inside all right where do we start Oh, it's small. Eventually, I'm going to get into the bigger cars. Um, as you can see, I got the 124 scales, the WL toys. Um, right here, uh, I do have the 124, the SCX24 axial. I'm trying to get into... Uh, what's it called? The climbing? Crawling? Crawling. I believe this one's like a 118 and this one up here is 112 or or so so maybe one day I'll get into the bigger ones. In the bag, we got a nice little controller and on here we got the steering trim and the throttle trim. Nice little one-handed use so I can film. Um, and then I thought this was for the remote for some reason, but no, um, USB LiPo charger for the battery. I saw in some other videos that this pops off. I don't want to break it, but oh, right there. So there's a little clip right there, push in and pop it off. And this is so that you can transport it, you know, throw it in your bag. It's a lot easier to take with you. And I believe the batteries probably go somewhere on the bottom, but that's kind of cool. It's like you're loading a magazine. It's not too bulky. Uh, I don't like how the bottom doesn't really have like a wider stand 
to stand it up. It's just like this one I got down here where I can't really stand it up like the other ones. So you kind of just lay it on its side, but overall it feels really good. Again, we've got the charger. Parts list, we'll see. I know a little about a little. In here you got your manual, got a sticker, which is cool. I'm gonna put that on my toolbox and some batteries. Oh yeah. Oh, this feels good. It has a little weight to it, and you can tell. This is my first, I mean, I don't know, besides the uh, Axial SCX24, first real brand name one. Uh, my other ones, uh, a lot of them are the WL Toys, um, my Banggood specials I got on here, but um, I remember Losi from back in the back in the 80s, 90s, when um, I first got into RC cars, and then I, I stopped until now. But, um, check that out. I believe these are just decals, yeah. I'm glad I went with the red. I like it. It pops. Um, I will eventually, again, paint my own body. I'm going to paint like a, like a gun metal. Um, back tires. There's real grippy, like, spiky tread on it. And then you got the, the smoother ones for the front. All right. Well, let me get all these boxes out of the way and then we'll take the pins off, open it up and see what's inside. All right, so before we open it up, um, so like I said before, I'm not new to the game because I used to, I used to play with these and uh, kind of race them for fun, you know, back in the eighties, um, maybe early nineties. I think I'm thinking it was like late eighties. Um, but I'm back in the game, kind of got the bug. Uh, I think one, when those WL toys, the, the little 124 scale, uh, when I, when I found those, you know, it, uh, it ignited that fire. So, um, but just to break this down and again, so when I talk about this stuff, I don't know anything about it, but those of you that follow and the reason why I said that I'm late to the game is because this has been out, I think, for a couple years. So there's a ton of videos on it. And the reason I got it is because I did a lot of research and I watched a lot of videos and I determined this is going to be the, a good starter one for me. Um, a nice track truck, off-road truck. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but the specs, so it's a 118th scale, uh, two-wheel drive. Again, it's uh, ready to run, fully assembled. Um, 6,000 KV brushless motor, Spectrum SX107 Metal Gear Servo, and it's got a 2S LiPo battery. Just for those who know, just wanted to mention those specs. But here we go. And I like to do this, sorry. So here we go. I only do this because I see all the other YouTubers and reviewers doing this. Oh, good shocks. Very good. Uh, one thing for sure, it's not super bouncy. I mean, these shocks, you can tell, are um, good quality shocks. I don't know how you can tell that. but Take the little pins off, which I hate. I'm going to check and see if they have... I don't think on these guys because they... You're racing them, you're jumping. I don't know if they use um, the magnetic body mounts for them. I know maybe for the crawlers can handle it, the drifters for sure. Um, but I don't know if the, unless it's a pretty good magnet, if they do magnetic mounts. If they do, and I'm going to look that up, I'm going to definitely get some magnetic mounts because I'd rather just do this than plug in all those pins. Um, the body's really cool. I like that. Just throw that over here. And then here we go. 
battery's already in there. More clips. And there's our 2S battery. I think I'm going to throw that on the charger now. Um, so we can do a little test run after. So let's go ahead and throw that on the charger. I got to watch out for my chargers because, I mean, for my batteries because my cat likes to chew through them. And he's already chewed through. Can see right here um, this one's toast I can probably rewire it but my little WL toys batteries he chewed through two of them while they were on the charger mind you um, so lucky he didn't get electrocuted but that's gizmo he likes to chew through stuff so I don't have much to say because I don't know anything about it but obviously there's the motor it looks shiny has like a purplish pink color and as you can see here that these are adjustable I believe that adjusts the toe and the camber and down at the bottoms are fully adjustable as you can see right here as well for the rear you can adjust them I'm not gonna adjust them because I don't know what I would be doing or what the um, advantages are to adjusting that but they are fully adjustable and like I said the shocks everything feels really good um, really solid I like how the antenna has these little slots in here where it runs through and kind of sticks out the back that's kind of cool instead of flopping around all right so we'll let the battery charge and I'll get this all back together, throw some batteries in the controller, and then we'll go out back and, and see what it does. battery charged just plugged it in there and let's see where the on off switch is on this thing I think it's right on top yep Woo Throw the pins back in. I know I've said it before, but the uh, you can just feel the quality, the build quality on this. I don't know everything from the body to uh, all the components inside. And I guess it's because I'm used to lower quality. Got some batteries in the controller. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Because the thing just flipped out.
That was weird. It just started going on its own. Very fast. Man, you can feel the power in this thing. It's crazy. Jeez. <laughs> Let's throw it down on the drift track and see what what it does. Obviously, this thing isn't a drifter, but I just wanted to put it on the ground. Throttle response is pretty crazy. It's uh, there's no lag at all. See how it does on the on the crawler. Obviously, this isn't a crawler either, but hey, see how much power it got. <laughs> that thing just flies up there. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going full throttle. Ready? That was pretty fun. I already got it pretty dirty. Um, but yeah, that, that was going through a bunch of pretty heavy grass, uneven surfaces. Um, I'm going to clean it back up and get the twigs out. Twig in the bottom. Um, but overall, man, this is going to be a fun, fun little toy to play with. Um, I mean, you saw how much speed it was like. It was hard to keep it from doing wheelies. I had to kind of slow, do a slow acceleration and then, and then gun it because uh, it was popping wheelies like, whoosh, like crazy. 
Um, but there you have it, the uh, Losi Mini T 2.0 brushless. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to take it down to El Cajon Hobby and uh, give it a run uh, on their track. And maybe I might go down there in the next week or so and film their races, kind of get a feel of it before I, I get my hands dirty. But um, this is going to be a fun one. I got a couple more uh, reviews coming up. Um, two WL Toys uh, off-road ones that I got. Um, so I'll, I won't say anything more about those. Again, late to the game. So there's tons of videos about, about these cars that I got already. Um, the two WL Toys ones I think have been out for a couple years probably. Um, but just getting started, getting the collection together. I think I'm going to concentrate on upgrading the SCX24. And there's a lot of upgrades for this available. I'm gonna, I tried doing the oiling the shocks. I think I put too much in one of them, so I'm going to pull them out and, and put a little bit of oil in those. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. This is the RC journey just beginning. Um, a newbie like me. So I don't know all the technical stuff, but I'll just let you know how it is, how fun they are. As for this one, get it. Mini T 2.0 from Losi. The brushless. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I guess we'll make it official. Welcome to the Losi family. 1-8 Kevin.